Today I'm gonna start my, uh, or actually revive my Dash Projects car, which is uh, Opel Manta B from I believe 1986. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was that year. Uh, so a little backstory: he uh, bought it from his nephew, I believe, back in the day. So it's like a couple 40 years ago. Uh, he totally rebuilt it back then. Uh, he made his own white body kit on it. He uh, he swapped the 1.6 engine for a 2.0 uh, GSI, which has the the injection. Um, after that, he uh, finished the whole car. He put the project in a barn of my grandma, which is like half an hour from here. We uh, looked at it ever since, like a couple times, uh, under a blanket, which was dusty and stuff. It's been sitting there for 25 years, 26. Now, I always had the passion with cars and and building stuff, but I wasn't a technical back then because it was like this big. Now I have my own car and I've been doing some maintenance around that stuff. Um, I thought it would be a fun idea to uh, start <laughs> rebuilding his car and hopefully getting it to ride again because it's like 25 years ago it has been standing still in a barn. Nothing has happened to it ever since. Nobody looked at it, nobody started it, checked the oil, uh, cranked the engine. Nothing at all has happened to it. So, pretty sure the whole um, motor needs a complete revision. revision. Needs a complete rebuild, let's just call it that. And I'm gonna start by disassembling all the stuff which I know how to disassemble. Uh, I'm gonna label it so I won't forget how to put it back together, like the number one to how many parts I'm gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna make pictures of it so we can always have uh, like a clear vision of how it was uh, intact at first. And I'll show you uh, around the car how it looks now. It's, it's not that bad, but I have seen better days, so that will be, will be clear when you look at the car. But uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look around the car and then uh, let's begin disassembling the car. So as you see here, the beginning of the car, I'll show the engine bay, the 2.0 GSI engine. The whole car, the whole engine bay has seen better days. With, as you can clearly tell by looking at all the, all the stuff that's there. There's been a lot of dust, a lot of... A lot of just a lot of trash inside even some animals put some stuff there I believe like a lot of walnuts a lot of leaves even some cables have been like oxidized so we need to repair those but actually it doesn't doesn't look that bad it's just lots of stuff needs to be fixed or replaced or just mostly replaced I think because as it stands right now it will not start it has no battery in it it, it probably misses some other parts which I don't see at the moment but we'll probably need some new parts and also some parts probably will be broken so let's just show the rest of the car because only the engine bay is not all what's there so this is the outside, it has the, I believe the Opel Manzel body kit on there, which he made himself, which makes the car that much wider, look at this, it's actually well done, well built, my dad built uh, body kits for all the old cars back then, with like the MK1s, the MK2s. And with all the, the the big names, the big body kit names, he he just recreated the whole body kits. And uh, the best thing about this car is look at how big these tires are. Jesus, they're 345, 
16. Uh, Jesus, I need to check. 345, 35, 15 inches. Look how deep these are. I can put my whole hand in there. Jesus. So the condition of the car is pretty good. It doesn't have like a lot of rust on the special places or the places which are like essential for a good build. Because it has been sitting dry, covered up. Nothing bad, like just a dry barn. Let's see the insides. Insides can have some changes as well. A lot of electric stuff didn't finish back in the day. The key won't turn on because we, we don't have the key anymore. We lost it, so we need to switch those. And probably just some other stuff. It actually has some nice seats in there. He had them custom made somewhere around there. Which is pretty cool. So yeah. Also a fun thing, the engine has only 28,000 on it. I know when you hit like a, a ton, it switches to the first... Um, actually, it switched the mile back to zero, but this one actually only ran 28,000. Which is a pretty damn shame for this motor to be not used after that. Which probably should be opened up all the way again and rebuilt. And in the trunk, when we brought it here, were a lot of spare parts, so we hope to be able to use some of those. Maybe they come in handy when we need it, or maybe we just need some stuff that's in there. But most likely we would just need to, yeah, or <laughs> find a place to buy them new, secondhand, but in good condition, or at least in better condition than these ones than these are in so yeah this is gonna be my project and hopefully my project with my dad so we can build on them together so if you want to see me rebuild the whole engine in like uh, small documentaries or a uh, series let me know in the comment section because then i'll have to think about what i'm gonna do with it because as of now i'm just gonna replace small things uh, which is gonna make the whole progress of the uh, removal of the engine a lot easier so the whole time it's gonna take will be shorter because my dad doesn't uh, want to start the project so I I've been pushing him for over a year now and there was a small progress but not really so uh, I just said I'm gonna start today um, I hope he's gonna join in Jesus fly um, yeah and if not then not but I'm gonna make this car run again I'm gonna make the engine work um, even if the engine is not savable I'm gonna try and look for a different engine maybe a better one maybe the same one but not not a downgrade definitely not so it's gonna be an upgrade or sa the same engine as it's now in because the swaps back then were really easy or easier as now so let me know down below what you want me to do. So I'm gonna read the comments, uh, reply if I can. Depends how many people. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you back in the next episode or the next series.